Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Steam. This is a game called What Never Was, and this game already looks really, really cool. From the screenshots, it looks beautiful. From the things that people have been saying, it's very interesting, and people are actually getting really hype about this, even though this just came out. So I'm very excited to try this out. It's a story-driven puzzle adventure game, and you guys know I love those, but I guess in this, we take on the role of a girl, who's cleaning out her grandfather's attic and the attic isn't quite all that it seems there's some things beneath the surface that are a little bit weird so anyway let's go ahead let's get started playing what never was oh man it's some really intense music on the home screen there hey mom where are you oh we got voice acting cool wait what so you're not coming but i'm already here i'm assuming the grandfather like passed I know, away but mom don't we owe it to Grandpa too? Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. <laughs> okay. I love that the mom okay. sounds like an Whatever. Animal Crossing character on the other end. It's I like really faint, but it's like that... Boxes, <laughs> I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Oh, yeah. Poor granddaughter. Bye-bye, Mom. Thanks for being useless. Maybe it was the mom's father, though, and, you know, it's really tough to go back and see that kind of thing after someone's I'm passed really away. Oh, wow. Miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. What was that? It looked like a piece of chewed gum that I was holding. Uh, maybe Grandpa hated gum. Oh, my gosh. This is kind of a creepy little attic space, honestly. Attics are always kind of a little bit eerie. They're a little bit weird. Whoa. Some bright sunlight. Oh, the outside looks nice. Beautiful. Okay, so ooh, we got a cello. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Grandma's cello. To interact with an object, press right mouse button. Oh, nice. I'm plucking away I at really it. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. <laughs> Sounded pretty good to me. Sounded very, very nice. Uh, it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. He sure did. Holy crap. There's so many of them stacked up. Ooh, drawers. drawer. Yeah. Ah, what is this? What's this? Okay, so left click inspects things, right click lets me like pick them up and interact with them. Picked up journal page, nice! Dope, okay. Look at your inventory with Q or tab. Okay. Oh, I got a cell phone. A Matson flip phone, it's a year old, but still works pretty great. I'm not in a hurry to upgrade, even though the new smartphones look pretty nifty. Well, maybe I would if I could afford one. <laughs> Whoa, there's some like freaking out QR code thing there. I wonder if you can like scan that somehow. It's really weird. Student ID, student ID from my school. I'm still not quite sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me and God knows mom didn't think so. Uh, so I like nature and I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet and winning the Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize or something or setting up a flower shop, you know, whichever. Uh, also not the best picture, but yeah, that's me. Uh, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. <laughs> Look kind of punky, a little bit grumpy in that picture, honestly. So this is this is all taken place before cell phones uh, were smartphones, or at least like during the transition. So this is in the past. Necklace, a necklace I got from Grandpa when I turned ten. He joked that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from monsters and such under my bed. Ah, and I believed him for the longest time. I've worn it since, and now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. It's kind of sad. And we found journal page five. So there, this looks like there's a lot of reading in it. It's almost like uh, what remains of Edith Finch, except there's going to be puzzles in this one. Uh, Elfston, also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore, normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Oh, that's sort of like, is that like part of, yeah, that looks exactly like the pattern on that. Looks like the thing that I was holding in the beginning. So I guess that's what the little necklace thing is. All right, so there's like a lot of reading that we can do. If you guys want to read this all, you can pause the video and do so. I'm not going to spend too much time on it until we need that stuff for like puzzle clues or whatever. I'm assuming it's going to be hidden in there. But this is cool that there's lore building already. Also, flip phones. Man, oh man. I kind of miss my flip phone. I like having the internet at my fingertips, but at the same time, those flip phones, those were resilient phones. They were pretty sweet. <laughs> it's a magnifying glass for magnifying things. <laughs> so the main character is kind of sassy. I like her. Ooh. Oh, we can change the orientation. I'm guessing there's a puzzle with that. So this must be Grandpapa. It's Grandpa on one of his expeditions. 
He sure was adventurous. Aw, and this must be us with him. Aw, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. <laughs> I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. Oh, and we can zoom in with Z? Oh, oh, that's sad. But cool, what is this? Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? That thing's creepy. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Okay, sure thing. I the might as well. Drawer. I should search the other drawers. It's a banker's lamp. Okay, we'll turn that on so we have a little bit of light. Oh, and we can crouch. It's locked. Oh, these are all locked. It looks like they got little keyholes. All right. Well, oh, there's also this drawer though. Haha, -ha, no one suspected. Nothing? I can't take any of that, huh? An open desk drawer. <laughs> wow, so sassy. I like her a lot. Ooh, tunes. Oh man, some nice tunes. All right, yeah. bands. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah, bands from the 1920s. Please don't copyright strike me. All right, ooh, another journal page. Okay, sweet, which one? Journal page two. Okay, it seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and uh, Paraquaqua, I don't know who or what that is, would happen to be in mountains. Uh, the page itself, oh, you can actually rotate stuff. Oh, there's symbols on it. Okay, so I wonder if these are clues. All right, so this one has like a, a raindrop on it and some upside down triangle thing. Okay, cool, awesome stuff. I like the atmosphere in this already. Even though it's one small little room, this little attic, it's got a lot of, <gasps> It's got a lot of stuff to it. Guys, there's a freaking N64. Damn, the adapter's missing. No! Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Oh man, I want this N64. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, actually I wanted to uh, zoom in, I think. Can I zoom in? Can I look closer? Damn, oh man, my old A station. A station. <laughs> I spent hours playing games on this game. Oh man, okay, well, what's that say? Play me, okay. Hello. This oh, I can't move. Why? Did I break the game already? Message for my oh no, it's a little cutscene. Okay. Sarah it's like the opening credits. Right. Ah. So if anyone else is listening, they can sort off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Grandpa, you wily old Sarah, bastard. If you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. Oh, that's sad. But I don't want you to be too sad about Guess it. Guess what I am. That's All right. That's the way life goes sometimes. I mean, yeah. You Chin live up, and then you die. My little pixie. Little pixie. Remember Aww. our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. <laughs> I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and Clearly. Your father. But there were good reasons. Kind of wish mom was here to see this stuff. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. Oh, that page is labeled Pele. I you to face the dangers that I've had to. I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now. Grandpa, were you a ma magician? Were you at Hogwarts? Pixie, I need your help. I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. I really like the uh, fact there's voice acting and this, this really nice music in this. Full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do. Hey, those are the four elements. Look. Were you an airbender, Grandpa? Goodbye, Sarah. Were you the Avatar? I love you very much. Aw, that was a sweet little uh, message, Bye, though. Grandpa. Bye, Grandpa. Oh, so sad. Okay, well, uh, we got a bunch of other stuff here. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a? <laughs> it's locked. Uh, oh, we can. Oh, oh we can it's open a key it. Need to open. Mm-hmm. I guess we need one of those. Any other clues? Ooh, a page. Nice. Got another journal page. Journal page one. Okay. What's on this? A little fire. With a circle, or a triangle, I mean. Okay, interesting. That's neat. Uh, wait a second. Okay, so this has four hands, and I was like gonna make a comment about it being like all crazy wonky, but it's crazy wonky for a reason. These are the tri these must be the triangles. 
These must be the triangles we're finding on the pages, so that's gonna fit into something. Ooh, what's this? It's a lamp for the typewriter. Ah, cool. That's a cool typewriter. It's got a crucifix, a bike. So many things in here. More lamps. Okay, oh, that's a key. Nice, small key. I wonder if that's for the clock. Can we use this? The key I have doesn't fit here. Oh, darn it. Okay, so that has to be for uh, the drawers over there, I bet. But what's this? Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Oh, whoa, what the heck? Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Okay, oh, so these have got to be part of the, oh, the, the puzzles. Very nice. There's like a tree on that. There's a, uh, a water. Oh, wait, I think I'm figuring it out, guys. These are the four elements, like Grandpa was talking about in his tape. Yeah, all right. So uh, we use the journal pages, I'm assuming. Yep, so fire, uh-huh. That doesn't seem to be it. What do you mean, that doesn't seem to hey, be it? This is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Yeah, okay. So wait, what did he say? Tallest tree, okay, so tree, water, wind, flame. Okay, tree, water, wind, flame. I can do that then. Okay, tree. And then where's water? Water. What did the message say again? It said tree, water, wind, flame. Oh wait, no, that's flame. I thought that was a water droplet. I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, tree. Uh, where's water? Water. I'll get this eventually, guys. Wind and then flame. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, Heck yeah, I did. Oh, I like that. That was a fun little this puzzle. Looks like, is this a second part of my necklace? Oh, and now we're gonna get the special uh, stone we were just reading about. Oh, whoa. Man, this game is really whoa. pretty. And I like these types of puzzles. I really love this kind of stuff. You picked up necklace part. Yeah, I did. Like uh, in the original Assassin's Creed 2, there was a bunch of cool puzzles like that. Uh, v to look through the necklace. Oh, it's a looking glass. Sweet. Uh, and they were some of my favorite puzzles like in the series. And then there were also puzzles like this in a bunch of old adventure games I put like Myst, things like that. Like there's just this sense of wonder and whimsy when you get to approach things like this. Okay, so more journal entries, I guess. Oh yeah, a compass and a thingy. Uh, nothing I can take in these, really? Okay, ooh. Oh, I got a journal photograph. Okay. Uh, an old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hassam Mosque a Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. Oh, cool. Grandpa was a, a jet setter. He's a pretty awesome dude. All right. So the triangles on these pages, though, these are going to matter in some kind of way. All right. So we're going to have to figure a those out. Door. Yeah, I know it's a desk drawer. I just clicked the wrong button, lady. All right, Sarah. All right. Oh, we can just do it. We should have done it from bottom to the top because it makes it so much easier. Okay, another journal page. Nice. So I think I got all the journal pages. That's good. Uh, and then, oh, what the hell is this? Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. Yeah. What could the combination be? I don't know. Oh, I should look at it through whoa. this. Whoa. Whoa. Serious whoa. 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 Is there going to be like monsters and shit? Oh gosh, that would be bad. I don't want that. Ooh, spooky. This is kind of spooky, I won't lie. Okay, so uh, what the hell am I even doing? I can't even see uh, with this up. So, uh, S, what else is on here? It's an A and an S? Hmm, what's on here? F, L, A, F, L. Oh, you know what? I bet it, this is supposed to say Sarah because I was his favorite granddaughter. Is there an A? Yup, okay, I think I got it, guys. Oh, uh, easy, easy. So what, what was the thing with the pixie, whatever, or not pixie, the, uh, what was the thing with this thing? Whatever this is called. Oh, wait, I'm pixie. That's my nickname. God, I'm getting everything screwed up. There's too much lore. Damn, I was sure that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Uh, okay, well, there's like an X on this. What was this called? The Troll Stone, not Pixie Stone. I thought this was the Pixie Stone. Okay, it would be bad if Grandpa called me Troll as my nickname. Is there something else I can find? What is that? 
Oh, wait, what? I thought I, if I click the X thing, wait. A oh, okay, no, I figured it out. There's hidden letters on here. And it does, this spells out Pixie. That's so funny, I just brought that up. Amazing, amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so from, to the naked eye, that looks like nothing. That looks like absolute nonsense. But with the seeing stone thing, the troll stone, I'm able to re- This is so cool. I love this. All right, this has got to be for- Oh, the clock? Ooh, creepy. That made that noise. Okay. Yes, yes, I hear you, clocky. Okay. Yeah, a little bit creepy. This ornate key will allow us to now- Now we do the puzzle. Okay. So we're going to want- uh, Oh, I know what to do. Okay, so each page had an element- with the symbol on it. So this one is gonna be the regular triangle. It's gonna go on the fire. Okay, we can do that. Uh, it won't budge. What do you mean it won't budge? It's stuck in place. What do you mean? What the heck? Do I have I to like do these in order? The clock hand somehow. Oh yeah, okay, we do these in order. Okay, so uh, triangle, upside down triangle with the cross out on it, with like a line through it. So that's gonna be this one. This one goes to tree. Okay, uh, where's tree? Where are you, Mr. Tree? Oh, of course, you're all the way down at six. Okay, that's fine. Can do that easy. Easy peasy. There we go. Lock that in place. Now, can I move any of the other ones? Nope. That is not what I needed to do. Uh, okay. Please let me move another hand. Probably need to select the clock hand. Aren't Select the clock in the journal pages. Is there another mechanism I'm missing? Oh, I'm so stupid. The symbol's right here and it allows you to select the one that you need. Okay. I'm so dumb. This is cool though. I like that this game takes you, you know, like your observation skills <laughs> into a, into consideration like you got to use your brain to be able to do this and clearly I'm not. Okay, so regular triangle is going to be fire. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, fire is going to be at the 11th hour. All right. Now it's a little bit easier. Now we're thinking. Now we're cooking with gas, guys. I'd get it figured out eventually. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, and then what else do we need? We need uh, water for upside down triangle. So water for upside down triangle. It's going to be this one, and then it's going to be down there at eight. All right, easy, 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 easy. I love a good puzzle game. Uh, I really, really do. I like this a lot. And then this one will just by process of elimination go up there at two o'clock. Okay. So I need to set these hands correctly. Yes, I know. I'm already doing it, Sarah. Journal pages. Shut up. I already know. Was that it? Oh, easy. Did I do it? Nice. Uh-oh. What the heck's happening? Whoa! Whoa! What's happening? No. No, no, oh, no. did I just like reset time or something? Holy cow. This game's really pretty, by the way. Oh, I like this a lot. This is so cool. What did I do? Did I set something free? That was the first time I traveled by magic. Ah, cool. Pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. So we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Yeah, why didn't he tell anyone? That would have been fun. I went on his adventure. I guess he said he was protecting the one everyone. That was. The one that Oh, but there's that the title. Is a longer story. For another time. Wait, what? Oh, this was so cool. All right, so this is I guess just the introduction to something that's going to be much bigger. So this was just me discovering what my grandpa was all about. Oh, that was the end of it. Oh, that was so awesome. I really liked that a lot. And then I'm assuming the dev is working on a much bigger game that is Sarah going on these magical journeys and finding out all of the whimsical, crazy, mystical things that her grandpa was involved in. That's so cool. And so I guess the whole reason he kept this a secret was, like he said, he was trying to sort of protect them from the otherworldly forces that are bigger than the reality that we're aware of. And that's, oh man, I love this. This is a great way to introduce your world building in a game. This is a great way to introduce the universe that you're writing. This is really, really good. If you guys want to try 
try this out yourselves in case I missed any sort of secrets. The link will be down below in the description like it normally is. Uh, this game is free to download over on Steam, but I had a great time. I can't wait for more of this. I'm going to be playing the full game if and when it ever releases. I'm very, very excited for more of this. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sure,